I'm A.D. And I'm Kevin. And this is our backyard. This is Pine Island Sound. We're about 60 miles south of Bradenton. Pine Island Sound is an estuary, and an estuary is a body of water where fresh water from the land meets salt water from the sea. Other southwest Florida estuaries include Sarasota Bay, Tampa Bay, and the tidal part of the Manatee River, where the Bishop Museum of Science and Nature is located. Other famous estuaries outside of Florida are Chesapeake Bay, San Francisco Bay, Manila Bay in the Philippines, Botany Bay in Australia, and the Firth of Forth in Scotland. The Firth of Forth? The Firth of Forth. I just like saying it. The Firth of Forth. Sometimes called the nurseries of the sea, estuaries are very valuable ecosystems. Did you know that 75% of Florida's commercially and recreational important fish and aquatic invertebrate species spend all or part of their lives in estuaries? Southwest Florida's estuaries are also home to many wading bird species. Here's a bunch of white ibises and snowy egrets feeding at low tide. Another common estuary bird is the osprey, also known as the fish hawk or the sea hawk. This osprey doesn't seem to mind all the boats buzzing by him and his lunch. Other cool local estuary critters are manatees, like the ones in rehab at the Bishop, sea turtles, and these dolphins. Now that you have a little background on estuaries, let's go out on the water for a closer look. Okay, I'm out in Pine Island Sound, out in the grass flats. I'm going fishing. Uh, we got about a three to four knot southeast wind. The first thing I need to do is cast net up some uh, bait fish, so here we go. There are a lot of different ways to throw a cast net. I only know one, so this is it. And that's what you call throwing a pancake. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, what we have here is a bunch of small pinfish and silver jennies. These are my favorite bait fish, but at this time of year, early spring, they are pretty little. Part of the fun of cast netting is looking at the bycatch. There's a nice little sea star. Here's a cool little guy I caught in my cast net, striped birdfish. Cute, isn't he? Okay, better let him go though. Here's another cute little guy, a southern puffer, and when he gets frightened, he puffs up. This snaky looking guy is a pipefish. Its head looks a whole lot like a seahorse, and in fact, he's in the seahorse family. Now we're cruising among the mangrove islands of Pine Island Sound. Three mangrove species are native to Florida, red mangroves, black mangroves, and white mangroves. Mangroves are an extremely important part of our estuaries. They protect our shorelines from high winds and storm surge, filter-fitting organisms that live on red mangrove crop roots help clean the water, and the mangrove canopy is a nesting and roosting place for a wide variety of bird species. Closest to the water, actually in the water, are red mangroves. These are red mangrove properties, which are home to many kinds of fish and invertebrates. Behind red mangroves are black mangroves. These are black mangrove roots, or pneumatophores. Black mangroves breathe by having their roots grow up out of the sediment like little snorkels. Behind the red and black mangroves are white mangroves. You can identify white mangroves by the leaves, which have these two little sugar ducks on the stem. The sugar ducks attract ants, whose job is to keep leaf-munching insects away. Another neat thing about red mangrove prop roots is that they're a great place to snorkel because you can see lots of estuary animals like mangrove snapper. Baby sheep's head, adult sheep's head, 
maybe horse conch. By the way, horse conch can grow to be 24 inches long. Here's a juvenile horse conch. And more mangrove snapper. This is a stone crab, a tasty crustacean indeed. And here's a horseshoe crab. Did you know the horseshoe crabs are more closely related to spiders than to crabs? And that horseshoe crabs have blue blood and 10 eyes. Speaking of eyes, this base scallop has 30 to 40 bright blue ones. A lot of bait fish hang out in the prop roots. So does the occasional goliath grouper. This little fella might one day grow up to be 800 pounds. You can even find nurse sharks here. Okay, I'm moving in for a close-up. Those whiskery things on the shark's snout are called barbels. And the shark uses them to find prey buried in the sand. This shark is in no mood for a close-up, and he kind of chases me on out of there. And look, more mangrove snapper. With all those mangrove snapper down there, what do you suppose is the first thing I catch when I throw a bait up under the trees? You guessed it, a mangrove snapper. This is a very tasty fish. I like to fillet them, dust them in flour, and pan fry them. But this one's about an inch short of the 10 inch minimum. I'm out in the grass flats now fishing for spotted sea trout with a popping cork and a jig. Sea trout is another great tasting fish, but I can't keep any because a couple of years ago Red Tide really did a number on sea trout, redfish, and snook populations, so the state has prohibited the harvest of those three species through May 31st, 2021. I'm telling you, this guy is a fighter. He just doesn't want to come to the boat. The slot size for sea trout is 15 to 19 inches. This one measures in at a healthy 18 inches, but gotta let him go. This stand of mangroves has grown up on a rock jetty, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is because it's a really good fishing spot and I don't fish and tell. Using a nice bite-sized silver chinny, First cast and boom, a serious hit. Oh, look, you can see him flash. It's a redfish, and even though he's only 20 inches, he's really strong. I like my redfish blackened, Louisiana style. The slot size for reds is 18 to 27 inches. So this guy's legal, but gotta let him go. Before we head in for the day, take a look at this other resident who fishes in Pine Island Sound. Watch as this dolphin throws a fish across the water, retrieves it, and eats it. Here it is again in slow motion. Researchers think that fish tossing might be a display behavior. It's one dolphin showing off for another. Or maybe dolphins throw their prey so they can pick it up and swallow it head first. Or maybe, like some humans, dolphins just like to throw stuff. So that's our backyard. What's in yours? <laughs>